Joining us now to talk on this is TVC News is our correspondent there, Ibrahim Issa. Uh, Ibrahim, it's good to have you join us right now. We know that he has arrived at the house where he will remain in exile. What about his family? Yes, his family, I got to know that, have flew to, they have been flown to Lagos. Before his eviction, we, all, we learned that he arranged an aircraft to fly them to Lagos. As we speak, I learned that the family are in Lagos. Where they are in Lagos is not known. Whether they will be flown out of the country is also not known. But the AMI is, of course, in local, in Nasarawa state. And Ibrahim, well, the government says the AMI serves at the pleasure uh, of the uh, governor, so to speak. A, a section in the Kano Emirates uh, in that law has now been cited as the authority backing up uh, this line of action in, in deposing uh, Emma Sanusi. What's been the reactions to this? Yes, it is true that the Kano State Government quoted the Kano State Emirates Law 2019. They quoted Part 3, Section 13, Subsection A to E of the Kano Emirates uh, Law 2019, saying that the EMEA has been found breaching the law. And you know, earlier at the Kano Assembly, there was a petition filed by some civil society groups of an alleged violation of culture, tradition, and religion by the EMEA. So these are some of the issues that are surrounding the, the EMEA that the EMEA's actions are led to impeachment and you know and this issue of disrespect and disloyalty the government and some of the states all right ibrahim uh the stool of the emir of kano is highly revered and respected across the world talk to us basically how is the mood in kano well it's the shortly after his uh dethronement in kano you know the, uh, the residents of Kano were in good posture as a popular emir in, in, in not, not just in Kano, in Nigeria, but at the international space. You should expect uh, uh, one or two uh, resistance probably from the residents, but that has not been recorded. At the emir's palace, we saw not uh, thousands, not hundreds of residents, only a few were there, and I've not noticed anyone shedding tears. I've also not noticed anyone saying no, that the Emir should not be dethroned or something like that. What I noticed from the residents is that they are only there to see for themselves how the Emir would be evicted. That is surprising, of course. Uh, talking about the statues of an Emir like Sunusi, like the deposed Sunusi, all right, Ibrahim is our correspondent in Kano. Thank you very much for talking to you. But let, let's bring in our correspondent uh, in Nasara State, Godwin Aguam, uh, on, on board now to give us perspective to how he was received and what's the mood in, in Nasara State. Godwin, good morning. It's good to have you join us right now. You have been following uh, developments in Nasara State uh, following the arrival of uh, the former Emir of Kano, uh, Mohammed Sanusi II. Can you uh, uh, bring us up to speed with the move there and uh, what, is, what is going on there right now? All right, uh, good morning, Mike. Um, we've been up uh, all through the night um, trying to track the um, uh, movement of uh, the deposed Emir of Kano, uh, Sanusi Lamdu Sanusi. Uh, we can officially confirm to you that he has arrived in uh, local town at exactly 2.40 a.m. And um, before his arrival, the emir of the town, of local town itself, uh, Abuba Katabo, had gathered his subjects who were around the facility where the, the post emir uh, will be spending the rest of his life to inform them of uh, his anticipated arrival. So um, uh, to tell them that they would not be allowed to stay around the vicinity when he eventually arrived. And uh, truly, when he eventually arrived, uh, the, 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 the members of the community who were gathered around the uh, the house where he the house uh, were dispatched uh, only to the high number of security uh, that accompanied the, the post area down to local uh, town. They were numbering about uh, 50. So even those shops uh, we have there uh, are shops we took from afar uh, to at uh, least uh, be able to repress uh, his arrival uh, in local town. So we. Uh 
The former mayor now that that Senate the, the second is uh, in local town uh, situated in Nasarawa state. Tell us about you know the significance of this town indeed to uh, the state generally. Well, uh, uh, from the information we got, that uh, local town is a town uh, under natural local government area uh, or uh, natural local government area of natural state. There's a local government called natural local government in natural state. So that's where local town is located. Uh, they, it's, uh, it's a mixture of uh, tribes that are predominant here. We have the Hausa, we have the Fulani, we have the Igbera, we have the Basa people, we have the Afro people, uh, and the host of um, other tribes who are predominant in local town. Uh, the people are mainly known for uh, fishing and farming. That's their free occupation there in local town. Uh, it's about um, three and a half hours uh, from Abuja, from the city of Abuja. That's when you are driving by a car. Uh, that down to local town. The road uh, is a, is a, is a old uh, house, a federal road that links uh, uh, the north and the south. If you look at it very well, uh, the local Oweto Beach, the popular local Oweto Beach, is situated along that road uh, in local town. Uh, according to research, uh, local uh, it was one of the old uh, headquarters of the north, where Mungo Park usually had uh, meetings with uh, areas uh, who were from the north. So that's um, just um, the brief uh, history of uh, local town itself. All right, Godwin, uh, talk to us about the security uh, on ground there. Uh, what, what are you seeing? Are you seeing men in arms and all of that to ensure that there is security and to prevent any breakdown of law and order? All right, uh, just like I said earlier, um, even uh, at the arrival, uh, the security was watertight. And uh, in fact, no one could go close to the uh, house uh, that have been uh, given to him where he was where he's going to spend the rest of his life. So uh, as speak now, the security in the town, local town, is very very tight. Um, our informant there told us that uh, in fact uh, there, there's a restriction of movement around where uh, the deposed area uh, is currently uh, staying. All right, Godwin Aguam, a correspondent in Nasarawa State. Thank you so much for talking to us.